What's up, y'all? Coming up next is my first G1 review of them all. And yes, who to start out none other than Soundwave. Oh, yes. The original Soundwave here. And who requested him to do this review? It's none other than Vetus at the time. Subscribe to him, y'all. He is one I shout out the coolest guys on YouTube and a hell of a friend. He asked me to do this review. Guess what? I hooked it up. And I got the best sound wave there is. Coming next, G1 sound wave. But hey, I'm not going to do a review this time. I'll let somebody else who do it. Can tell John give me a hand? you find out. Coming up shortly. <laughs> From the secret files of Talgen 1, Soundwave is one of Megatron's most reliable soldier on the Decepticon unit. He positioned himself as the irreplaceable upper command of Megatron's structure. He stands at the Decepticon's leader's side as his true confidant. Though his, he is the only Decepticon communication officer, he is compared to Starscream and Shockwave in Wink. Though Shockwave is on Sauratron, Starscream is on Earth. However, Starscream is the most disloyal to the Decepticon Armada. Though Soundwave is wise to Starscream devious plots and reports them to Megatron immediately, while the other Decepticons accept Megatron, seeing him as a two-faced snake. Since he is the communication officer, he hears all and doesn't hesitate to stab Ills in the back without a blink. High rank you can see him into Megatron's low subject. Other Decepticons wouldn't mind abandoning him on the battlefield. If they would thought Megatron would want to let him get with it, think again. He'll throw him back where they belong and get their get his little subject back. However, Soundwave Soundwave is not alone. His little subjects he leads a legion cassettes onto the battlefield and help them in case of need. And the bit missions that'd be too small or too big. Still, he helps them in case he knows what is done. During the battle between Blaster, his longtime nurses, they fought on Cybertron. They fought to the bitter end. At the end of the battle, Soundwave was severely damaged and almost killed in the process. Returning him to Char, Soundwave unavailed a new plan to get his boost his belts and became known as Sound Blaster. But still, that was another story. His legacy, however, is one of the most known to the Decepticon Armada. Throughout the age of Transformers, Soundwave had been an important figure in this in the kind of my Armada. Still, his legend will be going out for years. Here he is, Soundwave, transformed. And by the time I transform him, my eyes seem beyond sight. This guy is wicked sick dope times 10 the transformation the cassettes come out of his chest the weapons what more can you ask for a transformer fan simple either thank you shake my hand bam I mean <whistles> found them in Toys R Us when they re-release them and once they re-release them you gotta snatch them up I ain't had to snatch him up so fast. Bam, took it home. He had to stash it because I don't want nobody to know where I got him or not. Boom, I had to get Soundwave. And to this day, Soundwave 
is so beyond epic. I mean, words cannot describe how cool he is. Had Ravage and Lazy Beak at the same time. That's one hell of a deal. Got them both? I got them? Oh, yes. And thanks to V. Sensitacon, who requested this, had them up when I transformed them your song camera. Oh, my God. This guy is epic. And to tell you the truth, this is by far the pinnacle of all Transformer toys. When I snatch him, words cannot describe how much joy in my heart. Still, do I recommend him? Guys, this is the art, the masterpiece of the first generation Transformers. And without well, a shadow of doubt, if you didn't get Soundwave, you must be ashamed of yourself. Back then, they gave you a second chance. Bam. But what happened? He was done and left out shells like that. Now, he's on your eBay stores. Find one you can before he's really gone. Next video. With a few videos to go this year, I'm just trying to find the perfect ones. This is Big B. Until the next video, guys, I'll catch you later. Peace. News flash: Harvey Dent, aka Two Face, has struck all of Gotham's banks, and so far, no killing so far from the former district attorney. But it's been wild nonetheless. Sources say Commissioner Gordon was baffled, and knowing that went into the dark night is in question. Rumor has it that he's making his way through outside Gotham. Who will stop him? Maybe the Dark Knight, or who knows? Answers tonight at eleven.